everybody and welcome to day three of our vlogmas excuse the um the lights <laughs> coming across the screen but the sun is just about to go down here in the ozarks and it's coming through my window and my tree is in front of my window so i do apologize that that's happening so so yes welcome back to our vlogmas day three which is day 16 of our lowlander advent opening so yes excited to get that open and also day three of my friendship advents from Vanita and Jeanette so so yeah I hope everybody who's watching who's opening an advent whether it be because they bought one or they've traded with someone else is enjoying this month of little surprises and for anybody that's opening a lowlander advent I hope you're really really enjoying it so as you can see I have this lovely shawl on like uh, yesterday I said and showed you in the podcast um the shawl I'm working up with my advents, which is designed by imagination. Um, this is uh, a designed by imagination shawl um, that I knit up some time ago. I didn't put any eyelets in it. I just used a couple of different yarns and striped it out and uh, stuff. And I made it a little shorter just because I wanted it shorter. So, so yes, this is a designed by imagination shawl for all you who are wondering. So. So yes, what I've been up to since yesterday, um, just finishing off some Christmas gifts. I finally got Isla's little hat finish, which I want to show you guys. And I did a little kill to go with it. So this by far, I've made a lot of things for Christmas because there's 15 to make for. Um, so yeah, most of them are kind of wrapped up. But this by far was my favorite thing to knit. I just did it by myself. I made it up by myself. I used scrap yarns for it. And I was just really pleased with the outcome and I'm doing one for Stella at the moment. But this is Isla's. I did her this little chunky hat with a big pom-pom on it. You can see I kind of did some greys, some browns, some cream. And then I topped it with some lilac. Now I just took worsted weight yarn and I doubled it so I could get a real chunky kind of feel to it. So... And I'm just so happy with how it uh, turned out. And I tried it on her the other day and it looked absolutely adorable. So yeah, I'm excited to get it all wrapped up for Christmas. And if I ever get time, I'll write down the pattern because I did write it in my notebook. So yeah, just a basic beanie, but just did with chunky yarns and colored it out. Um, yeah, so I was really happy about it. And I did not sew in the pom-pom. I just tied it in with a little bow so if they go wash it they can take the pom-pom off which would be a good idea um, and then that way the pom-pom doesn't get ruined so yeah it just attaches from the hat and then I had some yarns left over so I just did a little single uh, slip over cowl um, to go with it just to keep her neck all toasty warm so yeah I was kind of excited about that it's just a little just a plain um, plain knit cool so so yeah so I'm getting ready to wrap that up so that's what I was finishing up last night um so yeah I'd love to know what you guys are working on if you're working on some Christmas projects please let me know post some pictures um I love to see what everybody else is doing for Christmas gifts some knitter as knitters a lot of years we don't do anything because we leave it too late or whatever but this year I really wanted to take the whole month of December and working Christmas projects so I literally put all my other stuff on hold probably from about the middle of November just to work on Christmas projects and I must say this year for the first year ever I completely stuck to the plan I stuck to my list of stuff that I wanted to do and so far I am completing things and I am on track with everything so so yeah I'm I've been pretty disciplined so so yeah that's kind of good so so that's kind of what I was finishing up last night so but without further ado let us jump right into the Lowlander Advent um, day 16 so I have day 16 here here it is here all wrapped and ready to open and I wonder what will be in it today let me see well again we have two things so I know it's some yarn and something else 
And let me see. Oh, it's this beautiful green color. It shows up lighter in the screen, but it's actually a lot more muted in person. And let me pop my glasses on. It is mistletoe and it says kiss me quickly. So, so yeah, that was a fun one to kind of design because every Christmas needs some mistletoe. And everybody needs someone to kiss at Christmas. So, so yeah, I designed this little mistletoe color to kiss me quickly. And what do we have in our little goodie bag? <laughs> Wouldn't you know, we have some little <laughs> Hershey's Kisses, which is very appropriate for the yarn, mistletoe, kiss me quickly. So, so yeah, if you're opening a Lowlander uh, Yarn Advent 25 Days of Christmas, day 16 is mistletoe, find someone to kiss, and then have those with your cup of tea. So, so that is that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm gonna pop that down there. And now we go on to day three of my friendship advent. Uh, this is from Jeanette, my friend. And I guess each one of hers has a little note in it. And when I was unpacking everything last night, I found a little note on the floor. So day two had a note with it. I just must have dropped it out the bag when I opened it so uh so if you're watching Jeanette I apologize I completely missed day two's note so I'm being more careful when I open them to know that you've put a note inside so this says to light up the dark nights with a little Christmas tree on it oh how sweet let me see Oh wow, it's not only a candle, it is. Oh my goodness. I wish I had smell a vision. This smells so good. I'm gonna have to try and read it to see what it is. It's S plus F. Sand and fog candle and I can't even read what the scent is but it's this cute little candle the little let's get Christmas trees on it oh mm. oh my goodness it smells so good I can't wait to light that mm. so if you're watching Jeanette thank you very much I love candles your first one was beautiful bluebird ornament your second one was some uh, chocolates and your third one was the candle. So, so far, my friend knows me because everything she's given me so far feels like it's been customized to who I am as a person. So, so yeah, oh, I can't wait to light it. So, now we have day three of Benita's advent, my other friend who I swapped an advent with. So, um, it's not yarn. It's something hard, and I'm thinking I know what it might be. Okay, one wrapper down. Oh, <laughs> it's a cup, because firstly, I drink a lot of tea. And it says, that is the neatest gift ever. Can you see that, guys? It says, yarn life. Well, it says, hashtag yarn life. You girls absolutely rock. You girls have really catered to uh, who I am as a person um, for this Friendship Advent. And this is so much fun. It really, really is fun. And I hope, Vanita and Jeanette, if you're watching, you're opening my Advents. Uh, and I know everything was kind of last minute, but I did try and cater them to you guys as uh, friends and your individual personalities so I hope you're really enjoying it so um and if our, all of you are watching you guys got to do this French friendship advent swapping thing because it is the neatest thing and it just brings smiles to your day every day and I do declare on that note I am going because I didn't to start the podcast but I am going to make myself a cup of tea and my new cup. So
So, anyways, you have been tuned in to Lowlander Vlogmas Day 3. And if you don't want to miss any, subscribe so that you can get a little notification. Uh, because we'll be doing this every day right up until the 25th of December. And don't forget to comment. For anybody that's not been tuned in on day one and day two, we will be doing a very special Christmas giveaway on Christmas Day. So you'll want to tune in, you'll want to comment in one of the Vlogmases over the next um, five, however many days until Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Day, we will announce the winner of that Christmas Day giveaway as well as what you guys will be receiving and I want to add uh, at this point because I've kind of forgot to say about it there is one lucky recipi recipient recipient of the Lowlander advent calendar this year who will receive a golden ticket in their advent and what a golden ticket is and I'm going to be doing this every year um, if you have received a golden ticket from Lowlander in one of your advents, I am not sure what day it's in uh, because we kind of parceled everything up and then made up the boxes. I don't know who has it. I don't know what day it's in. But you will receive a 2020 25 Days of Christmas advent calendar next year. How bloody awesome is that? I know, I said bloody. Anyways. So yeah, I can't wait to see who gets the golden ticket. Uh, so if any of you guys open the parcel with the golden ticket, not any of you guys, whoever opens the parcel with the golden ticket, please, please, please let me know who it is. Uh, well, of course you will have to to get your free advent next year, but if you're on social media, um, post picture, do something, let us know who won it. So yeah, I'm desperate to see who actually gets the golden ticket. So anyways, guys, until tomorrow, I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I hope you're all cozy up next to your tree, fire on, coffee, tea, whatever you're doing. And I hope you're knitting or crocheting your little socks off because it is the season to be sitting down and doing a whole load of nothing but knitting. So anyways, I will tune back in with you guys tomorrow and haste you back.